Hey everyone, welcome to Wetcode, where in this video we're going to learn what an SSL certificate is. So before we learn what an SSL certificate is, we should probably talk about what SSL is. Well, SSL, or Secure Sockets Layer, is a security protocol introduced in the year 1995 that creates an encrypted connection between two entities over a network. These two entities are typically a server and a client, with the server-client pair being a web server and browser, mail server and mail client, etc. And why do we need SSL? Well, having an encrypted connection between a server and client is important as it secures the transactions between them. An unencrypted connection is vulnerable to having its data read or modified as the data is exchanged between the server and client. Imagine having login information, credit card numbers, sent over the internet without any form of encryption. So what is an SSL certificate? Well, a Secure Socket Layer Certificate, or SSL Certificate, is a digital certificate that verifies a website has an encrypted connection. When a website uses SSL, there will be an SSL certificate associated with it. SSL certificates are issued by certificate authorities. A certificate authority is reliable for verifying the authenticity and trustworthiness of a website. We can see if a website has an SSL certificate by looking for a padlock icon to the left of the address bar. For example, on my blog website, we can see this padlock icon right here. This padlock icon reveals that the website connection is secure. Furthermore, if the URL of the website begins with HTTPS instead of HTTP, then the connection is secure. HTTPS is a secure version of HTTP and refers to HTTP over SSL. And we can see HTTPS here. And so let's now talk about the contents of an SSL certificate. So SSL certificates contain information such as the domain name, the name of the authority that issued the certificate. So we can see that information here. We also have the expiration date, the issue date, and more. We can also check for the information in an SSL certificate by using the OpenSSL command in a Linux terminal. So we can see information such as the certificate, the certificate issuer, and more, which is similar to what we saw in the Chrome browser. So what is this OpenSSL command? Well, this OpenSSL command is a command line tool for working with various cryptographic functions. This command specifically connects to blog.wetcode.com on port 443 and displays the server certificate that was sent by the server. And now let's finally talk about how SSL certificates work. So SSL certificates work by first, they establish an encrypted connection through public and private key pairs. For a concrete example, let's use a browser as the client and witcode.com as the web server. First, the browser requests a resource from witcode.com, which you can see here. The witcode.com server then responds with its public key and SSL certificate. Once the browser receives the certificate, it checks its digital signature to make sure it is valid a valid signature essentially means that a certificate authority signed the certificate with its private key, and now the browser creates a shared key, encrypts it with its public key, and sends it to the web server. The browser also keeps a shared key for itself. After the web server receives the shared key, it decrypts it with its private key. Now all traffic is encrypted and decrypted on both ends with their shared keys. And finally, let's just end this with TLS, or what is TLS? Well, the terms TLS and SSL are often used interchangeably, but TLS, or Transport Layer Security, is the successor to SSL. Nevertheless, the goal of the two protocols is essentially the same. So this is my video on SSL certificates. I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.